but we have a lot of orders picking up today. Before we open, all of the orders need to be ready because people arrive at selected pickup times to get their orders. So we have a ton of orders ready today. These ones up here as well. So that's, <laughs> that's where we're up to so far. This is the kitchen where all the magic happens. And although it's a small space, it operates very functionally because everything is hyper organized. I am a Virgo after all. And this is the section that you would usually find me working in. signed the lease everyone I spoke to was like are you sure but I believe the best bakeries and cake shops work in a small space I've always been taught that you want to have like a little triangle of the sink the bench space and the oven as you walk into the back of the house as you can see Welcome to the back of the house. So this is the drinks area where all of the coffees get made and henceforth this is one of the most important areas of the bakery. This right here is my lifeline. Whenever I have those 4 a.m. 5 a.m. shifts, I cannot live without caffeine. So every morning I come in, I turn the coffee machine on because it's the most important thing. The grinder for the coffee beans, second thing to go on. Usually the third thing is the lights. The bright lights at 5 a.m. in the morning is a lot without company. So we have this little bar fridge. That's where all the milk goes to make the coffees. And then in this side, we have a lot of the coffee cups, the lids. Basically everything you need to run a coffee station is in this section. My favorite thing about the bakery is actually here. When I was doing the design on the fit out of the bakery, this is the one thing that I knew I wanted before anything else. I'm sure you're wondering what's inside. I get that it's not that exciting because it's a mop sink, but for me, this is like the ugliest thing in the bakery, so I really wanted to make sure that you couldn't see it and also you couldn't see that it was there. So... Oh, it's a mop sink. Okay, this is my section of the bakery. It's where I get all of my jobs done. There is one other cake decorator that works here in the kitchen, but she works in the other station, and so this I have claimed as my space. I wish that I could claim this, but actually one of the team did this for me. Okay, so this is my station where I make everything. Um, I've got my scales, which can hold up to three kilos, which is not a lot. But in this location, we don't make all of the products. The cookie dough all gets made at our new production kitchen. And then here we're just making all of the cupcakes, brownies, um, all of the cakes get decorated here, like everything kind of gets baked off here and finished off here. So we have the cookies and the macarons made at our other facility. The macarons go straight into the kitchen and then the cookies get baked off here fresh every single day. We freeze the dough and then every day we take those out of the freezer, bake them off fresh and they're really popular. Pride and joy, my ovens. I actually started the bakery with one of these ovens, it's a five tray chef top, and then because we became so popular and it got so busy, we had to get another one stacked on top, and then this is the exhaust fan which extracts all the heat. Um, it's kind of crazy to me that we have the two ovens now, I can't imagine life without them, but for the first year and a half we just had one of these ovens, but now we can make double the amount, which is... I guess double is productive. 
now that they're turned off, you can probably hear me a lot better. <laughs> and then also, down here I have Big Daddy, my mixer, which felt really big when we first opened because I've never had a floor mixer before and I felt very professional with this thing. However, that now feels small to me because that is 25 liters. And then at the new production kitchen, we have an 80 liter dough mixer. So suddenly this feels small. However, I don't want to get too big for my roots. I still love making things in the 25 liter. So all of our brownies and cupcakes are made here in the 25 liter. And out of that, I make about six brownies, which I cut. Yeah, I'm really bad at maths. I don't know how many pieces that make. We have a heat pad here. Personally, I like using electric heat pads because you can move them around the kitchen. So I just use one of those instead of like a gas top cooker. So I have these two benches. This is where I predominantly work from. Um, we can have two people here in the kitchen at the same time without it being too cramped because we have the two separate stations. So this is my station, which is the biggest station, but I don't know, I think that's just the perk of owning the bakery, you get to decide the workstation and call dibs. So this is my side. I have here my knife rack, magnetic knife rack with all of the spatulas that I use for the cakes. So I'm mostly making cakes here, cupcakes, all the decorating in this area. And then over on this side, I have my big cake fridge. So this is where all the cakes go when they are crumb coated or and waiting to be decorated or when they are decorated and there's no room in the front cake fridge because all of the pickups for the day go in the cake fridge which is out the front but we get so many orders that quite often that fills up really quickly. So my little ingredients list here, jobs list recipes <laughs> and then we come back to the other side of the kitchen this is this is the other side of the kitchen um, as you can see this is where all the dishes get done and we also have a dishwasher which I would highly recommend <laughs> for anyone who's working in a commercial kitchen so that thing gets a workout then here we have our draining rack so if you sit a wet bowl or something up there upside down or the water will fall out, which is quite underrated really. The splash bag, I really wanted to keep it still quite trendy and feel like a cool environment to work in. Quite often a lot of kitchens are full stainless steel and um, silver is honestly my least favorite color. So I tried to limit the stainless steel just to what was necessary because obviously kitchen and it needs to be stainless steel but I still wanted it to feel like good aesthetics you know yeah also these bakery racks move around the kitchen so I'm constantly moving them around to wherever is the most efficient for them to be they have these little um, brakes so you can move them around so if you're getting stuff out of the oven, you can have them on the right side, so you go in really quick, out really quick. Um, when we have a full tray of cookies, we sit these out the front and just wheel them out the front. And we have three total of these trolley racks. We started with one, and when the bakery got really popular, I bought a second one, and then it got crazy, and so I bought a third one. And now the girls have said, please stop buying the bakery racks. We cannot move around the space if you buy another bakery rack. So we've now got three. Here we have our packaging. This is one of my favorite parts of the bakery is that we have really pretty packaging. Um, it's very strong and bold, but also it's quite feminine with the baby pink and then I love the masculinity of the uh, burgundy is our secondary color. And then the logo is quite bold. And my friend Sophie helped me on all of this so much. She designed the, oh, 
She designed the logo with me when I visited her in Los Angeles and helped me come up with the box. It's got a little QR code there so you can check out the ingredients. There's also a little discount code if you go there. And then, um, yeah, all of the boxes, I think branding is very much a strong part of why the bakery has become so popular. Because when you buy something and you get it in a cute box, you want to take a photo. And that was the idea that it's a really nice gift you can give someone. This is quite messy under here. <laughs> I think I'm going to show you anyways. So the counter is up there. That's what you see when we're all ready to go and start serving. And then down here is all of our packaging supplies all labeled and ready so that we have all of our boxes folded ready for customers when they order something. And then we have our front cake fridge here where we usually have all of our pickups. But because they're not quite ready yet, it currently has all of the macarons ready to fill the front pastry case. celebrations, their birthdays, their engagements, new babies. It's really special to be a part of these things and so it was really important for me that our mission includes that that is what we are here to do um, because I think there's so much more purpose behind that and being a part of these special celebrations it just makes me feel good. Because the space is quite small we have to make the most of it so down here we have our ingredient bins with our sugars, our flour, icing sugar. And that's it. That's the tour behind the scenes of Bookie Bakehouse. It's 41 square meters, so it's really small, but I think the way to make a small space work is to be hyper-organized, have everything in its place and always go back in its place. And also just remember that Good things come in small packages. Everyone has to start somewhere and we had to start quite small, but it's exciting now to get to the point where we're building and growing and things are getting bigger, but this will always be our home and where the bakery started. So I'm really proud. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next baking video.